In an effort to replace its obsolete fighter fleet and to counter the growing threats of North Korea and China, South Korea has embarked on an effort to produce its first modern indigenous fighter. Introducing the KF-21 Borame. Coming up next on the Stealth Channel. The KF-21 Borame is a South Korean-led fighter aircraft development program with the goal of producing an advanced multirole fighter for the South Korean and Indonesian Air Forces under an 80% 20% split. The airframe is claimed to be stealthier than any fourth-generation fighter, but does not carry weapons in internal bays like fifth-generation fighters, though internal bays may be introduced later in development. Korean Aerospace Industries has publicly stated that the KF-21 is a 4.5-generation fighter. The aircraft will be produced in multiple blocks. Block 1, totaling 40 aircraft, are equipped mostly for air-to-air -air combat and will enter service by 2028. Block 2 aircraft, totaling 80 aircraft, will add air-to-ground capability, making them true multirole aircraft, and will follow on by 2032. If the KF-21 is successful, the concept is to move on to a stealth-optimized Block 3 model with an internal weapons bay. The KF-21 was developed under the KFX program by Korean Aerospace Industries. The KFX was intended to produce modern warplanes to replace South Korea's aging F-4 Phantom II and F-5 Tiger II aircraft, and was first announced in March 2001. The development phase had numerous delays and postponements and its economic cost was debated, but the project received renewed interest following a 2008 feasibility study and attacks by North Korea in 2010. On July 15, 2010, a partnership was made with Indonesia, which would provide 20% of the funding for the KFX project, cooperate with technological development through state-owned Indonesian Aerospace, and purchase 50 of the approximately 150 to 200 aircraft anticipated to be produced. The KFX was designated IFX in Indonesia. Turkey had also considered joining with a 20% share, but wanted more control than South Korea had offered. Because of this, Turkey went its own way and developed its own indigenous fighter, the Turkish Aerospace Industries Khan. See our recent video on the Khan to learn more about that program. You'll find a link to it in the description below. The first KFX prototype was publicly rolled out on April 9, 2021 and was officially named the KF-21 Borome. The event was attended by South Korean President Moon Jae-in and Indonesia's Defense Minister, Prabowo Subianto. A full-scale mock-up was on display at ADEX 2019 in Seoul, South Korea in October 2019. The first test flight occurred on July 19, 2022. The aircraft bore the flags of South Korea and Indonesia and took off from Seichen Air Base and flew for 33 minutes. Six flying prototypes, including two two-seat versions, will conduct 2,200 flights until mass production begins in 2026. The first two-seater, number 004, flew for the first time on February 20, 2022. The fifth prototype, number 005, is the first Indonesian prototype. It made its maiden flight on May 16, 2023. The sixth and final prototype, number 006, also a two-seater, flew for the first time on June 28, 2023. Cash-strapped Indonesia is staying the course of its participation in South Korea's KF-21 Borme Advanced Jet Fighter Program, underscoring Jakarta's perceived urgent need to modernize and improve its air force despite missing several payments in the ensuing years since the two-nation agreement was made. Indonesia will receive one prototype when it fully meets its financial obligations under the deal. In August 2022, the Philippine news agency reported that the Philippine Air Force was eyeing the KF-21 as one of the possible contenders for its multi-role fighter, or MRF, project. Philippine Air Force spokesperson Colonel Maynard Mariano stated, it is a possibility given that the MRF has not been funded yet, the KF-21 can be a contender for the MRF. In May 2023, it was revealed that Poland was interested in joining the KF-21 program. 
Polish defense officials have indicated in the past year that they would be interested in procuring the still-in-development fighter and are targeting 2026 as the point they would want to join the program. By February 2026, the South Korean Defense Acquisition Program Administration intends to launch series production of Block 1 units. For Warsaw, the opportunity to join a fighter development project, even at the latest stage, right as South Korea would be moving into the Block 2 variant stage of the program, would benefit its defense and aerospace industrial sector with technical know-how and an opportunity for work share. Polish Defense Consortium PGZ is expected to be the principal mover in this process. Additionally, Poland would begin absorbing an advanced fourth-generation fighter that could complement, or, more likely, eventually replace, the Polish Air Force fleet of 48 F-16s ordered in 2003 from Lockheed Martin. At the DX Korea 2022 Expo in September 2022, Korean aerospace industries unveiled a carrier-borne variant of their KF-21 Borome, which they designated the KF-21N. The KF-21N is a single-seat aircraft much larger than Lockheed Martin's F-35B and the ground-based KF-21 and is capable of CATO bar operations. The carrier-borne fighter jet adopted arresting hooks under its body and the wing folding system that allows easier and more efficient accommodation in the limited space of South Korea's CVX aircraft carrier which is currently being developed by Korean shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industries. See our previous video on the CVX to learn more about this program. You'll find a link to it in the description below. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the Korean aerospace industry's KF-21 Borome. Be sure to like, subscribe, share and leave a comment to help this channel grow and thanks for watching.